Welcome back to That Dad Guy. It is July the 9th, 2022, and we're going into Centennial Park here in Moncton to see the Atlantic Nationals, which is a giant car show that's outside. I've taken you before to see uh, the inside one they had at the Coliseum. Now let's go see the summer outside one. So here we are. We've got barbecues going. We've got beautiful cars. We're going to turn it around so you can see. We have something for everyone, I am sure, at this car show. How cool is that? Jaguar? Is there a 1976 Cadillac? That is a long, long car. And then we got some hot rods. All done up. You like trucks? Here's an old one that's been souped right up. K103, it's one of the rock stations here in town. Music radio station. With a nice little MG or a Triumph. It's an MG, I guess. Lots of dogs. Lots of muscle cars. Lots of classics. Metropolitan. Very cute cars. Basic, basic. And we got a Datsun. to the beginning of the park where you get into and show you what we have. So we've got lots of Mustangs sitting down here. This must be a Mustang corner. All different vintages. You can see probably a 65 or 66 there and then kind of 90s. And over here in the 2000s there's a, an 80 early 90s sitting there. Lots of Mustangs. So the ones that I really like, I don't know what you guys but are the 60s, so we're gonna go over towards those ones. Somebody's got theirs for Raven. Not all Mustangs here, here's a Charger. here and they're from all over they're not just New Brunswick cars people drive down to be in this to get shows and to uh, win competitions for the best looking car uh, most complete uh, they're also sorts of different categories that you can win Corvette Stingray Chevy 
Chevy Nova. And they're parked everywhere. So I'm sure I'm missing some. I gotta go back and get another section of them. Here we got a Porsche 914. This is, I think, around 74 or 73. Probably is on here somewhere. My brother had one of these. Nice little Porsche with a Volkswagen engine. Not always the most reliable, but still pretty cool. If you like bugs, we got bugs too. Lots of them. All sorts of different colors, all sorts of different uh, conditions. Love this one here with the Coca-Cola cooler on top and the bicycle. Already in rustic condition. Same with VW vans. Rustic condition. This one, the Volkswagen was one that I thought about buying when I lived in Long Island. <laughs> so cool. I love this car. So one summer I lived in Long Island, this was the car that I was looking at getting while I was down there. I didn't in the end, but still was a cool dream. It was for sale. It may need a lot of work though. There are a lot of Mustangs here, but there are a lot of other things here too. Back in that Trans Am we were looking at before. Maybe you're a fan of the family wagon. I got some of these here too. The old pickup truck. Look at that one there. I love that. How about a Model T? We got those too. There may be more than one car here that you see that is Canadian version, not the American versions that are here. Like that National Metropolitan. There's a Porsche Carrera. Chevelle. <coughs> yeah, it's got a favorite yet. There's all sorts of lovely cars here. Mm -hmm. oh, T-Bird. Mr. Bean's here. One of the original minis. Well, this is actually an 87, so it's not as old as I thought it was. There you go. Got ourselves a little Toyota Jeep. Or Land Cruiser, I guess. Not a Jeep, but a different brand name. I should know that. Have a little Jeep. And if you're watching the meetup, here's the gazebo that we had the meetup last time. It's got some porta potties behind it now, and surrounded by classic cars. And not a cloud in the sky, or at least not a rain cloud in the sky. You like gremlins? We got a gremlin. And we got a Fiero. So if you wanted a Pontiac mini sports car, that was what they put out. Here we got the family cruiser from the 50s. And it even comes with its matching caravan camper. Real rat rod. See if you take a uh, Corvette, you want to make it new again, make it look like a mat. It's looking like that. It's pretty sweet. Nice classic Jag. As well as having all the cars, we've got displays by people that are doing custom work. You can buy uh, paraphernalia, you can get hubcaps, you can get jackets and stickers and badges of every car company you ever wanted. 
There's also a giant food court down here. So we've got fusion food and all the different food trucks. Buffalo burgers being cooked right there. We've got a poutine truck and lemonade stand over there. Lots and lots of just even pizza. You want something to eat? I think we got it. Szechuan chicken and uh, noodles. Barbecue chicken protein. Then we got curly fries and hot dogs and sausages. More Trans Am, more trucks. We got some drag racers. signs they got those too been to all the shows it's done. Rat rod. Good for you. Nice seat. Like custom lines. Look at the custom lines on this one here. Right down to the exhaust. Brake lights. Huge trunk space. Fat back tires. Dial system. Hand brake.
This awesome truck though, huh? That's very interesting. Ooh, 1958. Chevelles. If you're looking for a lot of foreign cars, not a lot of foreign cars here. Lots of American made vehicles. So that was the upper part of the park. Now we're going to go to the lower part of the park where there's still more. So next to this Mustang, this white car is a, I think a DeLorean, but it's a Brickman. It's a New Brunswick made car, so right here at home. Only pro produced for a very short period of time. Another General Lee. We got some vans. That one's for sale, 1990. We hope this becomes Another a real Brooklyn. big event, part of the show. We hope that you all bring friends the next year. Thank you much. Enjoy the show. Drive safe. The only Dance car that's tonight, ever been built in New Brunswick. We're providing the soft drinks. Thank you. Gotta love this. Someone's taking their golf cart and turned it into Mater from the Cars movie. Any other That's the best golf cart I've ever seen. Ducks Road on the pond. Cars lined all the way around there. Up the hill. And we still have to go up there to see more. When you get to the upper part of the park, we got lots of Corvettes. Corvettes around, but this one's more my speed. This is restored? Uh, somewhat restored. Okay. 66 Austin Healy. A couple of Miatas. And a Volvo. But if you like Corvettes, this is the part of the park you want to be in. That's a nice one there. There's a lot of modern ones here too. But people love their Corvettes, love their Mustangs, Chevelles, Camaros. Very popular in this uh, show. All sorts of those. We have some Trans Ams. Even got a Tesla made it in the show. Funny thing is, I saw a guy walking around and he had a uh, gasoline forever shirt on. So maybe electric cars are not uh, super popular in this show. Because it's showing off all types of cars though. So Tesla deserves to be here just as much as the Mustangs and things. I don't know if it's the wave of the future or not. I'd love to have an electric car, but we shall see what's in the cards for the future. We're gonna live it on the edge. For those that like to go off-roading or hanging over the edge. We've got a winch on the front of this one. All sorts of off-road clubs here. People like to get down in the mud and see what they can get out of. Brooklyn, well, here's the DeLorean. Made famous through Back to the Future. 1982. 71 MG. Right next to this big Camaro. saw all the cars while we were here but we saw a good amount of them. I was told there was over 3,000 cars that were here as entries this year. The park can hold more but 3,000 different cars, muscle cars, trucks, jeeps, uh, some older European cars. Yeah we had a nice variety of things here today. Hope you guys liked it and if you're ever in Moncton in the summertime come check out the Atlantic Nationals. Stay safe. What follow you say.
like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy?